this uh, whatever mentioned is available so this once again i have uh, shown you here arduino board so that easily you can see how many pins it is a 0 to 13 these are digital pins this uh, tilt symbol is for pwm and this is a here the ground pin then here analog inputs and the v input analog voltage ground 5 volt 3.3 volt reset your reference so here once again the reset button actually now the the newer version the reset button is here reset button this is usb port for connecting the computer and this is a 12 volt remains we are going to apply because adapter is required we can't directly apply through adapter we can apply here there is a 14 digital io pins then six analog inputs and this is a power supply so for arduino id tool we can use here arduino id tool so in that you have to select the board in this id tool then the structure of arduino board here i mentioned a very simple way the structure how how we are going to write the arduino code here see here so pin the pin which are going to use you have to define first that is a, as a variable so there is a int here integer we are uh, given before going to set up function constant variable should be defined here we defined this is the one pin number one we are going to define as a pin name and a type data type as an integer this is general general uh, uh, procedure when writing the program in a arduino so uh, this program is used c language so here is internally is going to be constructed as c plus plus but uh, as a user where if you know c you can easily write then wide setup because it consists of both C, C++, C as well as C++. So one will be the setup function is run once when microcontroller boots up or resets. So it is this, this, whatever you are going to write, wide setup, it is going to run only once. Uh, the uh, function that you are going to execute only once in your Arduino board, then you have to write the code here in the setup. Then the, the function which is, I mean, the which you need statements repeatedly to be executed, that should be kept in the loop, wide loop. So after a setup function, the processor moves to the run code inside the loop function. Code inside the loop function will run over and over until the microcontroller is shut down. Till shut down is going to execute inside loop, whatever you're going to write. It is required to have both setup and loop function in the code. It is compulsory. Both should have setup and loop. It is a compulsory. Then this is one example, just how we are going to connect to the LED. Here, this is a ground pin. And this is the, the pin number uh, is taken here. For example, pin number 13 our the arduino is connected to the positive of the led and negative of the led is connected to the register in turn register is connected to the ground so setting the pin data direction you have to set the direction if you are using as an output you have to set if you are using as an input you have to set that is by using the statement pin mode this is a this is the keyword you have to use pin number and direction you have to specify for example suppose pin number three you want to use as an output then this pin number three and you have to mode as an output comma output output all should be in capital letters and semicolon p is small then m should be capital here the same syntax you need to follow now one simple example here to blink an led program LED pin we are connected to pin number 13. You are used as an integer. Then in the setup, in the setup, you have to configure its mode. Is it output or input? Here LED is an output. So pin number 13 we are connecting. So pin number 13 you have to make as output. LED pin is nothing but here pin number 13. 
as an output. Okay, pin mode, LED pin, comma output, semicolon. Then in the wide loop, this will be continuously is going to be executed. This only once uh, during the execution of the program. Okay, then wide loop here, digital write is a digital pin. So for this LED pin means pin number 13, we are going to write as high means 5 volt. We are applying digital, I mean LED pin high. Then wait, wait delay, delay function, you have to call, wait 1000 millisecond. That is nothing but one second. You have to wait one second, then once again make the LED low. LED pin, then send as low, low means zero volt. Then wait one second. This is how the simple LED blink program is shown, how we are going to write. Then simply for uploading the program, first you have to verify here, click verify, program is checked, it will done saving. So then click upload, the program is uploaded to the Arduino microcontroller. It is this second number, if you click upload, then it will verify and upload to the Arduino of the microcontroller.